He calls me a year and a half ago, and he says, Mr. Reynolds, I'd like to take you out for a cup of coffee. And he goes, he sits down, and I'm waiting, and I'm just kind of letting him go, you know? And he's nervous as hell. Uh, How's the weather, Mr. Reynolds? <laughs> they have great scones here, Mr. Reynolds. I said, Dustin, are you going to propose to me or what? And he said, this is, he, he crushed me with this. He goes, it's really important I tell you what Kelly means to me. And he told me what every father, and I'll just talk about my own, what I dreamed from the moment you were born. And we, everything we've gone together that God would send a man like Dustin uh, to marry my daughter. Not only dad has the privilege of saying that. And uh, he's got a tremendous heart. He's got a heart for God. and He's got a heart for people. And I, I adore him. And he's going to be a phenomenal husband. And my baby girl, Kelly. You had me from the, the day you came out. I mean, that moment, I'll never forget it. I'm looking in your eyes now, and I'm 28 years ago. You've been a joy my entire life. Um, how, how do you put all this into words? I don't know. But I don't have to, because I've been doing it for the last 28 years, and you know exactly how I feel. I promise to be there for you through thick and thin for the rest of our lives together. I promise to always take care of you and to always put our relationship first in life. I promise to always be honest with you and love you with everything I have. We're about to embark on the rest of our lives together and I could not be any more thankful and excited. I couldn't live without you by my side for every step of the way, Kelly. So thank you for agreeing to be my wife, Mrs. Malter. I love you forever and always with all of my heart, Dustin. Being your sister has been one of my biggest blessings. You've been there for me through every significant moment in my life and for every little one in between. You're without a doubt the person who gives me the most valuable advice. You're patient, you listen, you teach instead of tell, you share, you motivate, and you love. It's because of these and many other reasons that I know you'll make the perfect wife for Dustin. Oh my God, you look amazing. That's beautiful. Two and a half years ago, my, my dad went home to be with the Lord, and Kelly's uh, had a conversation with him, and he talked about how this generation doesn't dance, ballroom dance, and um, uh, she held a promise to my dad, and she went and got dance lessons. She choreographed that, 
And when I came up, she goes, that's for daddy. That's for poppy. So <clears throat> we got a lot of people here, a lot of love. If you don't have, <laughs> you leave here without love in your heart, there's something significantly wrong with you. So um, thank you so much. God bless you. Dust and I had each other's backs throughout Sub Precarious and just played Weird Times, where we would just play basketball, eat pizza, and watch a movie and repeat for a couple years, basically ignoring the existence of women. So the days we started to hang out with Kelly and her friends, where we would hold our respective 12 packs and backyard hop throughout Rockville Center based on whose parents were out to dinner for an hour. We couldn't think of a more perfect person to accompany Kelly for the rest of her life than Dustin, who seven years ago was a stranger to me and today I couldn't imagine my life without. Thank you for loving Kelly the way that you do. Thank you for always putting her first. Thank you for knowing how to keep her calm when life becomes stressful. You're the best addition to our family that I could ever ask for, and I am truly thankful to call you my brother-in-law. <laughs>